if there's one thing that that's true about us is that we are DC hit haters. We know that. Oh yeah, we hate DC so much. Even though I liked Wonder Woman, and loved it. I like I like the, the the Christopher Nolan Batman trilogy, but we're DC haters. We know that. We're we're being paid by Disney. Boy, I can't just you know pick any DC books off my shelf over there. No, no, it's <laughs> not. Fake. It's fake news. There's it's fake news. no DC on that shelf. But it, it, but you know, besides just being on Disney's payroll, it seems like everyone else is as well because. Uh, the reviews came out for Justice League, and uh, wasn't wasn't the best reviews. Better than Batman v Superman. Ninety four million opening weekend. Ninety four million opening weekend on a three hundred million budget. That probably wasn't the best. Forty one percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Um, so again, better than Batman v Superman in terms of percentage of bad bad reviews versus good. Remember, guys, Rotten Tomatoes is an aggregator. Yes. They don't review the movies themselves. The percentage is not, this is a 4 out of 10. That's the percentage of positive reviews. So if you took 10 critics across the U.S., 4 out of 10 thought it was good. More than not thought it was bad. That's not good for your huge blockbuster that was 3 to 4 years in the making. 3 years in the making. Um, that, yeah, because yeah. Banana Steel came out in 2013, 4 years, and immediately afterwards they said, oh, we got to do an Avengers thing. We got to build to that. And everyone said, wait, whoa, let's, let's, let's pump the brakes there, buddy. Let's, let's establish a universe first. They didn't quite get there. This is the result. Oh. So the critics consensus of Justice League was leaps over a number of DC movies, but it's single bound isn't enough to shed the murky aesthetic, thin characters and chaotic action that continues that continue to dog the franchise. So there wasn't, good word of mouth but it wasn't as bad as Batman v Superman and of course they had another uh, review embargo which is always a good sign for a movie oh yeah um, and yes it ended up making 96 million which on the servers you say that isn't that's not bad for a movie until you look at all the other DC movies that have come out and this is the fifth in the DC universe has come out Man of Steel Su- Batman v Superman uh, Suicide Squad yeah. Wonder Woman yeah, okay, well, yeah. <laughs> <then>. okay. <laughs> that's fun. This I'm sorry. Thing. <laughs> I'm just so disinterested. I'm like, I keep forgetting one, and it's always like, it's always Suicide Squad. I'm like, oh yeah, that chunk of horseshit got put out there. This is the point. This has done the worst out of the five movies for its opening. How is that possible, Ian? Justice League, their Avengers did the worst opening out of all of them. Worse than Wonder Woman. Worse than Batman v Superman. Worse than fucking Suicide Squad. I, I can tell you. I, I, I can tell you. I think people aren't buying into the universe. Well, th- that. But I think, I think moviegoers were smart enough to see that Wonder Woman was something trying to be a little. It was a. It was a period movie. You know, it was it was World War One. So it was in the past. It wasn't going to get all fucky and funky. Good trailers. Good trailers. Some color in the movie. Yep. Wasn't going to get. You know, um, we hadn't seen Wonder Woman before. We hadn't seen Wonder Woman before. So I think, I think people were willing to give that one a go, and I think they were happy with it. But I think savvy enough moviegoers, I don't think you have to be that savvy to see this, looked at this one, eliminated Wonder Woman, and goes, "Well, I was disappointed by Man of Steel. I was disappointed by." Batman vs Superman. I was disappointed by Suicide Squad, and this looks like lo- those Suicide movies. Suicide Squad. Yeah, and this looks like those movies, so I'm I'm not gonna go see it. I mean, that's all I can think is if if you eliminate the the one standout film, which is uh you know Wonder Woman, uh I think people have just learned that they're done being disappointed. I saw a great tweet, so I can't take credit for this, but it's common sense. Wasn't Batman v Superman kind of a Justice League movie? You had Wonder Woman show up for a good chunk of it. The last hour is the three of them fighting. They mentioned uh, Cyborg Man. Cyborg. And Aquaman is mentioned there. And Flash. So, like, it's it's a half Justice League movie. And that was shit. It right. was shit, people. So why do we want to see a full so Justice League? So the people movie. that saw that and thought it was shit didn't come back for this movie. Yeah. This is basically Justice League 2 Dark Territory. Yeah, they didn't. They didn't need a. They didn't need a second help. Justice League Two, Electric Boogaloo. Thank you. I will not have more of your mashed potatoes with no butter or salt. Yeah, right. I mean, they just no. Uh, but but isn't that part of the problem? Yes. They rushed to it. Like we warned them about it. We're not. We're not. We're not geniuses. But we saw like, whoa, this is a bad idea to rush to this. 
Because even some of the reviews said that you're thrown into like I didn't see this movie. I actually want to see this movie because I'm actually more interested in seeing how this no, jumbled. This I will see when it is convenient and most cheap for me to do so. <laughs> when it shows up at the, at the bargain bin uh, theater. No, I mean just because I I do want to see if I can spot where all the I, you can. I, I just want yeah. according to people uh, like Andre Butner Comedy says like you can totally see the tonal shift happen in the movie where it's like oh this is and you can just you can say oh that's a Joss Whedon joke they put in that they didn't need here or there like okay right. you actually didn't need the joke there and now you went too far to recorrect it you, you know because now you're putting two directors with a totally different style into one movie and trying to come out with something to appease everyone yeah well like he said you can see the the fingerprints of of, of Warner Brothers all over this to try to course correct it superman supposedly like superman in this movie not just a dour like like just a grumbly character in this and yes you have more jokes you have batman being jokey flash is always kind of jokey it's gonna be like a peanut butter and thumbtack sandwich it's you, you gonna got, be tough you got the bro jokes with aquaman and you have one My man! you have <laughs> fucking bullshit that shit is bullshit <laughs> fucking awful my buddy adam and i yeah i'm name checking you adam gazowski my good buddy uh i've just been laughing about that forever we're like who goes to see the movie after that <laughs> my man like, <laughs> you just don't like it's just so bad i, 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 I gotta see because i hear like half of it is like uh, you know the bromance rivalry between Batman and, and Aquaman. Mama! And, and, and you have like then you have Wonder Woman. Roll I was like, oh man! Like for it's it just sounds like seriously that's where you're going with this. You know, it's like oh I gotta take care of you men now. Uh, like you know that whole cliche. So, <laughs> that, that that was was that that wasn't in the second that was in the Snyder teaser, not in the Josh Whedon trailer. <laughs> I don't even remember. Mommy. <laughs> My man! <laughs> that is pretty bad, isn't it? <laughs> is that what the, is that the, <laughs> he drives off on his fucking motorcycle to do a fucking triple split flip wheelie off a cliff and land on the Enterprise. <laughs> that was a good Star Trek movie. That treason was awful. Yeah, well. I felt so bad. That was a great movie. Um, Movies just blew up. <laughs> it, it, did they feel they had to do it like an overly over the top masculine uh, Aquaman to get people to like the character you think that was part of it yeah was like, I think so probably it was part of it and plus women kind of like Jason Momoa known as a pretty hot Momoa Momoa <laughs> My, 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 my man! Alright, let's just move okay. on. No, we're not moving on. We're talking about this. <laughs> and then he goes, yeah! Yeah! yeah. That's the job. <laughs> okay. Alright. <laughs> but seriously, one of, one of the things that I saw in a review that was written was like, they toss you in and there's some Aquaman action going on. With with uh, the redhead, it looks like a pretty sensual looking mermaid type creature, and it it sounds like if you haven't read the comics, you'd know what the hell was going on. Oh, they, that's they, uh, they, what's her fucking name? Uh, they dro they dro but they drop you into these scenarios I in the movie, her. and it's a, I love, it's only two hours long in the movie, which this is actually need a longer one, um, because because Batman Superman was like almost three hours. I, I don't, you don't like DC, Ian. um, and then you don't know what's going on, so. <laughs> They actually needed more time for this movie. It would have demanded more time. They cut stuff out, probably. There's already a petition for a Snyder director's cut, which actually sounds like it actually might be needed for a movie like this. And it just it just sounds like it was more the same. You've seen it already, and that's it. So where do they go from here, Ian? Please pay attention. Uh, I don't know. That's... <laughs> where do you go from here? Um... Because if this... Again, for this movie to do well... It's going to have to make a, at least to break even. And I think they're tired of breaking even on these movies. It has to make like six to seven hundred million, actually more than that because of the advertising budget. This has to make like nine hundred million dollars worldwide. It probably won't come close to that if it opens with ninety six million. Thor with short hair with a wacky Jeff Goldblum opened with a hundred and twenty two million. Thor three, that's a nutty whacked out movie, and it's a good movie did a hell of a lot better than a Justice League movie. Did you ever think you would see that? Ten years ago, if someone said, Thor 3, with a short hair Thor, which is a, a, half a comedy, did a fuckload better than Justice League did as a movie. That's insane. My man, I would not have thought that. I would I would have <laughs> called you insane. So what do they do? Do they do... They do I, I'm going to say this. 
Hot take. No more team-up movies are happening in the DC Universe. Mine is Shitty Suicide Squad, where no one gives a shit about those characters. It's a Suicide Squad. You ain't gonna see Justice League 2. Not happening. No. You're just gonna see safer <laughs> movies like Wonder Woman 2, a standalone Batman movie, if we ever decide who the fuck's gonna be Batman. Because yeah. um, right now it looks like it might be Jake Gyllenhaal. Because they, they canceled Cyborg Man, the movie. Uh, Flash, I guess they're going to already try to do it as a soft reboot because they're going to do the Flashpoint storyline. Like Flash in the pan. But the whole point is that they're already saying, well, Affleck's out. He's out. So you but got he's sometimes not. But you got three full movies with him and uh, whatever, a cameo in the awful Suicide Squad. And I did see it, Suicide Squad. And I saw the last hour of Batman v Superman. Martha! Yeah, I saw it. And it wasn't the worst thing ever. It was just the most forgettable CG hour of fighting you've ever seen. That's all it was, you know? Yeah. So, do you think there'll be another Justice League, or they're going to say, no, fuck it, we're done? I think... I, we're done with these big event movies. They're not working. The The problem is... Am I allowed to say this? I almost, almost feel bad, because after Wonder Woman, I, I got the impression that some of these actors maybe got a little like hey maybe something good's gonna happen but this movie was already, already filmed a but, chunk but of it, this yeah. film was already in trouble yeah too much trouble to be saved Whedon came in couldn't save it so what i think they wanted to try to save was they i think they wanted to save it enough to follow up wonder woman and have it be decent but it was unsalvageable and by being unsalvageable i think it's really kind of destroyed the whole universe network i think we will get a wonder woman 2 the batman movie the aquaman movies already in the can cheaper movies to do uh we'll get the single movies if we are Flash. ever going to see an ensemble again it will be years down the road when they have a stable fucking cast and crew and i do mean i mean both i mean i mean you can't have this ben affleck shit being like oh sometimes i want to be batman but no yeah, today i was I'm sad to, about it i was going to direct and write it now i'm not now i don't know what i want to be in it right before comic con that's a that's good news i'm i'm tired and sad and yeah. you know I, I, you need to have you, for something for this to work you need to have a cohesive group of actors and actresses for what do, what do they sign affleck up for like three movies four movies and that's it yeah you got to have them like Marvel did in the long haul, if you want the universe to work, um, and then secondly, you you can't we can't have any more of this this. I, I mean, I under I understand the reasoning why Snyder had to step down, but I I can't help but feel like this would probably have been a worse movie to me, but maybe a better movie to some people had it. You you can't have this clashing of directors. The saving grace is that this did this did pretty well overseas. But yeah. a hell of a lot worse than Batman v Superman did. So Batman v Superman is that like one eighty five total, so including it, overseas, right? Pat math it did one eight it did one eighty five opening uh, overseas in sixty five markets, one eighty five. Batman v Superman or Justice League one did two fifty four. All right. All right. So that's a that's a huge drop off. Of Pat Math, if I can actually calculate out what that difference is uh, here. What is 254 minus 185? 69 divided by 254. That did 27% less, if my, if my math is right. That's a huge drop off. It is. So this is going to make less than Batman Superman for sure. It probably will either break even or lose money. And then I think that's the last big fucking movie you're going to see from DC. Because they, they just have not proven that they can do it. Yeah, Suicide Squad did make some money. Batman Superman probably made about three cents. Or made some money maybe after after uh, licensing out everything. Yeah, scrape that. Scrape the money off, of the, off the table there. But you cannot keep pumping out $300, $300 million movies with a huge marketing budget on top of that and then have this happen. You just can't do it. No. So. Um, <clears throat> I saw a uh, pretty good movie poster that someone did a mock-up and it was... Uh, they used some of the logos from Justice League. Okay. But it just said uh, sunken costs fallacy. <laughs> and it was it was pretty good. Like 
that's I mean what they're buying into it it's not gonna work anymore you can't just keep throwing money into this universe and expect it to magically work this was I think their one shot and last shot at salvaging the original idea and that was they had to follow Wonder Woman up with an at least passable Justice League and whatever fan reviews say it, Financially, it's not going to. It's not going to do that. So we know that Aquaman's in production. Wonder Woman two will probably be made because the first one did extremely well. I thought Aquaman two was already done. Uh, it's, it's it's in production either way. Oh, okay. I think they're they're filming it or maybe it's done production. Um, you'll probably get a Batman film. Those are pretty probably surefire hits if you keep the budget down. You're gonna see a Batman. Movie. The Batman. It's called Shazam two's in production with the. Uh, not just that. There's gonna be a Black Adam movie. Like, The Rock is going to star in a villain Shazam movie. Right. Is that going to f- actually come out? No. No. They're going to cancel that. But they'll probably throw him back into Shazam, though. Because Shazam, to me, is like the the Ant-Man of the DC Universe at this point, where like it would have been a risk to put Ant-Man out unless ever the movie did well before that so that it wasn't a risk anymore. Right. No one's going to see Shazam now. No. If, they can't, if you're not going to go see a Justice League movie... You're not going to see Shazam. The, 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 the casual person doesn't know who the fuck Cap, the original Captain Marvel is. Now Shazam. No one. They don't know that. Nope. They don't know that it's a, it's an 80 year old character that got sued by DC. It was basically the first Superman clone. You get into that. So maybe Suicide Squad too, since that made a little bit of money. You're not, you're not going to see Cyborg Man. You might not see hell. You might not see a Flash movie. It's who just knows? called Cyborg, Pat. I don't know. The whole point was it sounded like he was Mister Exposition in the movie. He was a guy just talking about the plot. By the way, the other funny thing I saw about about this review is it seems like in the in this Justice League universe, only the Justice League exists, and then the monsters, and then there's no people around. Like it just seems like there's like empty rooms that they talk in, and so there was there was uh, I, I guess an early uh. there was an early scene where Batman is chasing a power demon. And then there's a random person that helps drive the plot forward that says, oh, is that like a, a, an alien scout out to get us? It, just, it sounds like the worst writing ever where Batman has to like go through the exposition with a, a, a literally a random person that knows just as much as Batman about the situation. That somehow knows what's going on. Sounds like the worst fucking script I've ever... Like when I, re- when I read that, I was like, this, is, this sounds ridiculous uh, on its face. You know, it's just... It, anyway, we're, we're DC haters. So let's move on. <laughs> He's so disappointed. No, no, my man, no. 